Hey everybody, welcome back. We are watching Cobra Kai. We are on season three, episode three. We've got some sparring going on ourselves back there. <laughs> we are going to have to see where everything's going. We're getting a little bit of Crease's backstory where both uh, Danny and Johnny have lost their mentor role to both the boys, uh, Miguel and Robbie. We don't know if Miguel is going to be able to walk. Of course, it looks like he's not going to be able to walk, but there have been cases of spinal injury and the um, after lots of work, lots of hard work, the individuals are able to walk again. So it is still possible for Miguel to walk. So we'll have to see where that goes. They're under the couch fighting now. <laughs> I could actually see things going where Robbie turns to Johnny's style of strike first, no mercy, all that kind of stuff, and Miguel turning to Daniel's style. So we might see a flip happen. We'll have to wait and see. And I don't know if I mentioned it yet. Um, we'll have to see what happens with Crease's backstory. But let's go ahead and get into it and see what happens. Fixed it so you guys can watch the fighting. This. This is where most uh, of us go when we think about forgiveness, true? This is Bobby. But how many times I got to tell you, I'm not a priest. So your wang can still get tang. Nice. Forgive me, Father. For what? <laughs> Poor Johnny. Shit. Kid must be dead. Robbie's gonna step in and protect him. The baby birds are out of the nest, and now it's time for Mama Bird to fly. So why don't you get in that car? And fly, Mama Sita. Mama Sita. No sales. I'm here to make you an offer. You want to buy a car? Dan, a car? No, no, no. He wants to buy the dealership. I think if anyone can beat the odds, it's you. She'll set up a funding drive. I want that guy. An octopus. Interesting. <laughs> Not only is it an octopus, but it's in a heart. How about we meet there tomorrow? That'd be great. Good. That's cool. Why not ask your stepdad to help out? He's still loaded, isn't he? Street Ed! We'll figure something out. Start a drive. Everybody's doing it. Baruch, come on, let's go. Did he just call him the wrong name? <laughs> Told you they'd do a drive. Our bodies are an expression. <laughs> You want the food wash away? So just the wash. Hey, hold up. You do it? Yeah. I'm going to get you all straight. No suits, right? That'll be 20 bucks. Thank you. Do you shave? Looking good, Johnny. This job. It's just formality. No one's perfect. All right. Well. Fighting. Ago, I was arrested for assaulting a minor. A minor? No, technically multiple minors. You know, these kids were real pricks. <laughs> you know, it feels really good to talk about this, actually. When we start, boss, what's the plan? Unstable. Is he still in the minivan? You want money? Bring me something of value. Poor Johnny. Caravan. It's not yours. Take a look at the Kelly Blue Book. Right. It's got a tape deck, grayish cloth interior. Cloth interior. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, what does it say? It says get the hell out of my shop. It's worthless. Ever since I've been in love with cars. Start selling classics. Going to go back into selling bonsais? A healer of children. Makes a good ass, doesn't he? Are you gonna help me or not? Because I care about them. You know, I was watching other reactors and people are 
uh, commenting about the hash brown. That totally flew over my head when he first said it because I always refer to it as a pound sign. <laughs> I still can't get used to a hashtag. So, <laughs> a little stuck in the 80s myself. Going to pawn the statue. Ian's going to steal the money. LaRouche, you are looking at the new owner of LaRusso Van Nuys. Mm, not so fast. Why does he keep calling him Farouche? We know all about that. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Daniel offered me my job back. And since he knows my name and isn't a complete douche clown, I accepted. This man better work. It has to. Wait, wait, what? This isn't a sure thing? It's better, it's better. Wait, wait. Oh, I have to be somewhere. Miguel. He needs you. Please. I always Great. liked Grandma. She's a smart Grandma. He's not going to miss his appointment with his Robbie, is he? Johnny! Is he in Japan? Mr. Robeso? They are ready for you now. Yep. So things have calmed down a bit on the show and here at home. <laughs> oh, I haven't heard the kittens fight. I think they're both still under the couch, though. I know Johnny means well and he's trying to get his crap together, but. <clears throat> He just keeps making the wrong choices. He should have told Grandma that he's praying for Miguel, but he, well, he didn't have to say that, but, but he's thinking of Miguel, but he's got an appointment with his own son that he needs to keep. So now Robbie feels like he's got nobody, but it may push Robbie back towards Daniel. So it might be beneficial in the long run anyhow. Daniel knows that seeing the dealership in it, the manufacturer in person is going to speak much louder than anything else that he could do. So he can probably save the contract. Hopefully Miguel sees that Ian's being an ass because I think they didn't show it, I don't think, but I think Miguel saw it on um, TV that uh, Sam was raising money for him. If he saw the folks in the background, he wouldn't have seen any of the Cobra Kai guys. So hopefully he pieces it together and realizes Ian hasn't changed. We didn't get any of Crease in this one, which is kind of nice. I don't like him. Looks like Sam's taken over the dojo. <clears throat> Problem is, is she's still learning herself? How much can she really do? past the point how much can she really do to prepare them for Cobra Kai <clears throat> because I mean Daniel is still learning and he does a terrible job at balance which is why he's now focused on the dealership and he's trying to put the dojo behind him because he feels like it's his fault getting into the rivalry and everything Tom Cole uh, calling Anoush Varouche kind of reminded me a little bit of just the name Varouche reminds me of Varuka from off of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory <clears throat> but nothing else of that reminds me of that so I think the dealership's going to be okay it's going to work out I think that's I think that's it for this one well I'm still building up still waiting to see where things are going to go they're still bringing in some of the nostalgia. Not a lot, but a little bit. We'll get down on the other side. It's such a hard life being a cat, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to see where things go. I will see you guys next time. Bye.